Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions, where together we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about engrafting the word, starting off in the book of James, chapter one. So grab your Bible and get ready to dive right in. James one is so incredibly loaded. <laughs> right? Like, I just, I love verse 19. It's one of the verses that I have my kids quote often. That's one of our confessions that we yes. quote often. It's just an area that I feel like I see people get really stuck and hung up on. It says, understand this, my beloved brothers and sisters, let everyone be quick to hear or quick to listen and slow to speak, slow to anger. And I love how I have the Amplified. So it says, slow to speak, a speaker of carefully chosen words. And it's so easy, I feel like, to quickly spout off our opinions or our ideas or our thoughts about something. But this is so clear. Let everyone be quick to listen, yes. slow to speak, and slow to become angry. I feel like that's just something as a culture that we can all grab hold of. As parents, I know we can all grab hold of. Yes. And in teaching our children and all of those around us. I mean, I just think about how many friendships or relationships could have been saved if this verse yes. had been heeded. Absolutely. One of the, the struggles, I, I've seen people, people struggle with applying this verse around the world. In the United States, there is this tendency to be like, we have the freedom of speech. And you're yeah. like, that means that legally you can say something. It doesn't yeah. mean. Because you can, doesn't mean you should. Yes, and just because you can do it legally doesn't mean you won't give an account of it before God. Yeah. In Matthew chapter 12, his people will give an account of every careless word that they speak. <laughs> by your words, you'll be justified, and by your words, you'll be condemned. So just because you have a constitutional right to speak yep. doesn't mean that every word should come out of our mouth. Yeah, that's such like a scary verse. You'll give an account for every idle word. It makes you really want to think before you speak. <laughs> it, it, it really, really does. And it, it's this challenge of this application of let every person be quick to hear and slow to speak. And culturally, I think people are slow to listen, fast to speak, and quick to become angry. Yeah. And it's like this opposite of this verse. And as we, we look at it and we look at culture, it really brings me uh, a verse or two down. You know, after, after this, it says, The anger of man doesn't produce the righteousness of God. But verse 21 says, Put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness. And then it goes on and says, And receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your soul. Yeah. And when you look at this, put lay aside, in the Greek, it's a compound word that means to put it down and push it away. And sometimes it's out of arm's reach. That's what it makes me think of. So yes. Can't grab it again. <laughs> because it's too easy to put it down and pick it up. Put it down, pick it up. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, no, you, you push it away. Like, no, that's not who I am. That's not what I'm yeah. going to do. And to further not grab it, I'm going to pick up something else. Yes. Because if I leave my hands empty, I'm going to pick it up again. We have children that do things without thinking. They're absent. Like when, when they're... Yeah absent-mindedly doing something, they just pick it up and mess yep. with things. And if you want them to avoid it, you just hand them something else. Yes. And now <laughs> take that other thing out of their reach. <laughs> yeah. And there's a level that we need to be willing to do that. And when he says that there's an implanted word. Yeah. Or engrafted word. Yeah. You're like, what does that look like to engraft this into our heart? And if you know anything about trees, a graft is when they take a branch from one tree and they cut it and they insert it into a cut into the other tree. Yeah. And then they like wrap it up carefully yeah. until it begins to, to join and begins to get nourishment from that, that other tree and produces life and becomes a part of that tree. Well, he's telling us that God's word is meant to be engrafted into us. That means it's not just like, oh, I heard this once, you know, this yeah. like thump on you <laughs> because you don't throw, a, like I've thrown plenty of branches that I trimmed and they never engrafted themselves somewhere. Yeah. 
but going, all right, I'm going to get this inside of me. I'm yeah. going to meditate on this. I'm going to apply this verse. I will be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become yeah. angry. I love what you mentioned. Like, you can cut branches, but if you just throw them to the ground, nothing's going to happen. And grafting is very intentional. It takes time. It takes patience. It takes using the right tools and wrapping it up and basically babying that area. So, and part of that is when we're developing a relationship with God, we have to make sure that we have the Word of God daily yeah. as our intake so that as things come up around us, we're able to nourish ourselves. We're able to carefully wrap up the areas that we're engrafting, the parts that you know, like we're cutting off from ourselves selfishness. We're cutting off from ourselves this desire to get angry too quickly. We're cutting off from ourselves this qu too quick to speak. Yeah, right. <laughs> and so God. we're saying, okay, God, I'm going to be slow to speak. I'm taking that in. Okay, God, I'm going to be slow to get angry. I'm going to take that in. And when we're taking those things in, that's not something that just automatically attaches when you engraft something into a tree. Yep. It takes time to develop. And so don't get discouraged if you're not perfect right away, because none yep. of us are. But as we are developing these skills that the Word has for us, it's continuing to say, okay, I'm going to be very careful to fill myself daily with the Word so that it can overflow out of me, so that all of these things I'm taking in from the Word have that time to develop and to become all that God has created us to be. Yeah. As we get ready to do confessions, recognizing that the, the reason that we do the confessions each day is to help us engraft this word into us. When we confess yeah. it, our words have tremendous power. Yes. And our words, in amongst the power that they have, they help shape how we see things. Yeah. And so when we be go through this and we begin to speak and we say, I am quick to listen. I am slow to speak. I am slow to become angry. We are shifting that picture. And I remember yeah. when I started confessing some of these things and then it didn't take but a day or two before there was opportunity for me to test them. Yeah. And I started to respond in anger. And as soon as I started, like there was this flag that went up that was like, I am quick to listen, so to speak, and slow to become angry. And you're like, yes, yes, I am. yes, yes that's, that's who I am. <laughs> and, and there was a shifting, but it helped me realign it. And so we go through these confessions so that you can speak them, so that you can get this word down inside of you. And we do it over and over so that that word can, can uh, be engrafted, so that it can take root in you yeah. and produce fruit. Good. All right, repeat these out loud after me. I am loved by God. I am loved by God. My words are powerful. My words are powerful. And will bring healing and life. And bring healing and life. I use my words to partner with God. I use my words to partner with God. I am quick to listen. I'm quick to listen. Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And slow to become angry. And slow to become angry. I am a light to the world. I am a light to the world. Shining with God's love and grace. Shining with God's love and grace. I don't have a spirit of fear. I don't have a spirit of fear. But of power, love, and a sound mind. But of power, love, and a sound mind. I seek God with all my heart. I seek God with all my heart. And He reveals Himself to me. And he reveals Himself to me. I take every thought captive. I take every thought captive. And make them obey God. And make them obey God. I encourage others and build them up. I encourage others and build them up. Whatever I speak or do, whatever I speak or do, I do everything as unto the Lord Jesus. I do everything as unto the Lord Jesus. I do all things. I do all things without grumbling or complaining. Without grumbling or complaining. God, I thank you that we can have your word implanted in us, yes, that we God. can be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, that our character can reflect you. Yes, God, I ask that you have your way in every part of us, that you would give us eyes to see, that your word would come alive to us as we read it, that you would open up our understanding so that we could know and comprehend, comprehend your word and who you are. God, we ask that you have your way in every part of our life, that you shine through, and God, that we would see your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We hope that this blessed you today. If it did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we invite you into God's Word each day for yourself to discover who He is and what He has for you. Be blessed.